Hello everyone, I'm Ian. I'm Charlie. And I am Austin. We do this every time and we never get yeah. it. <laughs> let's, let's just go in order of Ian, Charles, Austin yeah. every single time. Yeah. We'll remember that. All right. It's always, I'm waiting for Austin to do it, and then I'm like, oh, Yeah, right. and I'm over here kind of waiting for you, and I'm like, you know what, I'm conceding nothing, you will go first. <laughs> and do you want to try uh, it again? No, no, I think this is fine. Okay. If, I, like, I like the dialogue it sparked. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, this is, is it worth it? The show where we watch an obscure movie and ask ourselves, was it worth it? Was it worth this time in our lives we'll never get back to watch Space Thunder Kids? <laughs> Um, and last time we got a good one. We did, yes. For the first time ever. Today we might it took not. Took five episodes. <laughs> but uh, Austin, what exactly do we do on this series? What are the criteria for the movies we choose? Well, on this series, we pick movies that are at least twenty years old and have less than one hundred cr combined critic and user rating r ratings. Reviews. Reviews, not ratings. Reviews. We did ratings. On, we'd never find a movie. We would not. And, and then we put them on this wheel. And we haven't seen them either, so yeah. we have no idea what's coming. In fact, but I think this time I have the ones I put on, at least one of them, I'm quite excited to see. What about you all? Uh, you didn't choose any new ones. No, I'm sorry. I, I I every movie that I've put on this wheel since my first two, even my first two I wasn't like super excited to see, but every movie I've put on since though, since then, mm -hmm. I am very excited to see, and I really hope we get one of my And movies. we haven't seen I've, one yet. I don't think I've ever been excited to put one on. Or to like to watch one yeah. that I put on. No, I'm, I'm definitely excited because no. past, my, past my first two movies, I've started looking for movies that I genuinely think fit the theme of this series. And I think that's the point, is to find definitely, yeah. movies that are either so bad they're hilarious, or movies that are legitimately good. But, because you're on a bit of a time crunch, let's go ahead yeah, and spin this. Yeah, the, the two movies I've added today, I've heard a lot about. Oh, okay. And surprisingly, they're, they both met the criteria. It's a new one. This is one of, one of the... Four from previous episodes. It's gonna be mine. Right. We've got right. the 1951's The Browning Version. So, shall we put it in? Yes, we should. Absolutely. freaking movie. Awesome, you're just making us watch church. <laughs> Wait, is this a. This isn't English. It isn't? It isn't? I mean, the credits The title is. And the credits. And it's a UK movie. And I suppose it would be in English. <laughs> it's dubbed it's in, in French. It's in fake. <laughs> with English subtitles. It's fake English. Alright, you lazy little hounds. Go on, beat it. And for heaven's sake, don't make a wreck. I'll disturb Mr. Crocker Harry. Don't make a wreck. Yeah, literally <laughs> falling down. <laughs> Oh, sir? Yes, Stepler? I, um, I was in your house this morning. Yes, Stepler. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like something's gonna happen. Sorry for him, no. But I also kind of feel like nothing's no, the gonna happen. still here, like... <laughs> <laughs> I just have enough worth, too. Stone still. Oh. I don't really know where to, like, start with this one, you know? Well, well um, the Browning version? 1951. Yeah. It's a good starting place. Let's go first. Uh, I suppose we should start at the beginning. Anyway, so the movie starts with um, an assembly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, what is it? The, like church assembly in the morning. Mm -hmm. it's the morning church before school starts. Um, I, I guess we're introduced to our main character. Uh, what's his name? Tippet. Tip. I can't. I guess. Yeah, I, I know. Our, our, main our main character is Mr. Crocker Harris. Yeah. Um, he's kind of painted in a negative light by some of the kids that we boring. see in church he's, assembly. He's, he's, like, he's shown to be sort of he's, like the a real... Uh, stick in the mud. Yeah. Very teacher. strict, yeah. not very fun teacher. Yeah. And he's going to be leaving this year, the school, because of his failing health. Yep. We're also yeah, introduced we, to the, the young gun, um, Tepler. He's, he's one of the students in Mr. Crocker's class. Mm -hmm. And he's the only one that really seems to... Like, like there's some scenes of him talking to his other friends about how, like... He's the only one that really seems to feel any empathy for Mr. Yeah, Crocker for sure. Harris, mm -hmm. um, uh, as they call him the Croc, and as yeah, we yeah. will henceforth call him the Croc. No, they're gonna call him Mr. Crocker. And, and when, when they're oh. talking about his well, you know, it's not. He doesn't. He's not even going as far as defending him. He's just. He's just know, sort of like, hey, you sure we? That seems awfully harsh. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. One kid's like, hey, we. It, it'd be sure. It'd sure be fun to watch him. Excuse me. Hey, right, yeah, and it yeah, sure no, be no, fun no, to no, watch yeah, him no. die in front of us. There's, there's, there's another guy named Fletcher who's also leaving for, like, 
Uh, something to, cricket like, related. To, to play cricket. Yeah. But he's really not. He's, he's not. not like, he doesn't seem like he, a he's not. He's, he only comes back for like a few seconds later for the latest. Yes, yeah, the film could have definitely yeah. gone without this character. Also, we're also introduced to Mr. Gilbert. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. The guy who's going to be replacing um, Mr. Crocker. Uh, I'm. I'm the croc. But, you know, you know, he's, I don't know, it just feels wrong to call him the croc. It does. Kill the croc. But I'm going to continue calling him the croc. <laughs> and I'll get another character that actually doesn't do that much, but does have, he does play a role a bit. I would say even more so than Fletcher. Oh, yeah, he, his role is definitely more necessary than Fletcher. Yeah, so we, we did Mr. Mr. Crocker Harris, who's the stick in the mud. We have Fletcher, Tepler, Gilbert, and then we have the headmaster. Yeah, who the new headmaster. Is, I, the funniest character in the movie for no good reason whatsoever. He's, yeah, he just sort of it, everything I, he says, every I, line. It's I, time for the it's time for the fireworks. I'll come out right then. I'll come show you this extraordinary billiard shot. <laughs> and I don't even think it's necessarily just bad writing. His, no, his character was just ah strawberries. Now then, Mrs. Crocker Harris, strawberries for you, eh? Now then, what about a quick game of billiards before the fireworks begin, eh? What about you then, Crocker? Thank hey? you, I don't play. Oh, of course not, I forgot. Ha ha, Hunter! A oh, weirdly oh. endearing character who really has very little impact on the yeah. plot. Is it the classroom scene? That well, first we need to scenes? introduce uh, Hunter, Mr. Hunter, who is the science teacher. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Crocker Harris's wife, whose name I don't think I ever actually got. The femme fatale of a wife. Yes. Uh, truly. In that we thought that she was going to murder him later in the yeah, movie. We, we, there yeah, was we were some, all there really waiting for him to die. How bold thou art that thou utter such a boastful speech over the bloody corpse of the husband you've just slain. She's just been revealed with his dead body weltering in gore. Yeah, we, we there were like, there were like four scenes, scenes where we were, where like, we were like, oh, he's dead, he's, he's, dead. Dead. he's yeah. dying right now, he's dying. Because then, then it not, turns out he's either just crying or death. like just just kind of choked <laughs> up or something. Yeah. Not choking, just like choked Choke, up. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get, a, get the classroom scene where we're kind of introduced to Mr. Crocker Harris, and he's kind of a jerk, and really mean to the students, and yeah. singles them. I, I, I he's hate, not like I, he is pretty mean. To them, I hate to be in that class. One boy, Mason. Produced the most melancholy dissonance that I have experienced in all my 18 years with this class. He's really cold. I think yeah. that's a good way to describe him. He's very cold a character. Mm -hmm. And at one point he like tells a joke in Latin and one of the kids doesn't Tepler. get it. But Tepler, Tepler yeah. yeah, laughs just out. It's like a pity laugh almost. Because like, ah, nobody, ah, nobody else laughs in the room. Mm -hmm. because ah, nobody ah, gets ah, it because ah. it's just this old teacher making this joke. And then after that, we learn that uh, Mr. Hunter and Mr. Crocker's wife are having an, an illicit affair when Tepler comes for remedial studies. That There's not really a lot to say about that scene, I don't think. Not really. Um, I mean, you do kind of see a little bit more of a connection growing between um, yeah, Tepler and Croc. When Tepler uh, uh, embellishes his translation of the play Agamemnon by yeah. Aeschylus. Yeah. Uh, by uh, adding things to bloody corpse for dead us. <laughs> yeah, and he's and Croc's like, uh, it doesn't say anything about bloody corpse or stab. It just says husband. He's like, uh, sorry, sir. Like, sorry, oh, sir. I was just trying to make, yeah, I was trying to make it more interesting. And he's and then that's when we learn that Mr. Crocker, uh, in his school years, started the translation of the same play in English, except he translated it into verse in English. Because I, th I think, because this would have been written, this is a Greek play, so this would have been yeah. written in verse in, mm -hmm. in Greek. But he was trying to write it in verse in English, and he mm -hmm. just never finished it. And then after this, we have the cricket match, which is really unimportant. It's boring. Uh, yeah. I was, mean, we do get some important time. It's not boring, I guess. But it's, it's Honestly, do we, we not? You learn that, um, so... Uh, Crocker's wife oh, was yeah, really hell bent yeah. on getting a severance yeah, that's from a pension. A pe pension. Um, and you learn that Crocker is not going to get the pension because, because the re didn't work there long enough. I don't yeah. think. Well, it's because his illness that he got, he didn't get the illness. It was like a, a pre-existing condition, so it wasn't something that he got mm -hmm. while he and was he, on the school and, he, and, be, and he's having to leave after. I believe he was only there. I think they said it was like eighteen years or something like yeah. that. that. Only he was there. eighteen years. Yeah, but I mean. For 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 a, I guess for a teacher of his age, that's not like because he's only middle aged. Yeah. Like he he's he doesn't seem that old. He just biologically he's not very for old, sure, yeah, but yeah. like he's older than his years. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's a good way to say that. 
he's not getting a pension, and he's also going to have to speak first instead of second at the farewell address. He's going to have to speak before Fletcher. Because um, Fletcher's is apparently going to be more climactic than, um, uh, what's his Mr. Crocker. Mr. Crocker. everyone hates Mr. Crocker. Yeah. Mr. Crocker Harris. This is the scene after this that Tepler gives Mr. 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 Harris a departing, a parting gift of a Browning translation, I believe, with an something written in Latin. Yeah, it had a Greek little inscription. It. Mm -hmm. that it referenced the joke that he made previously mm -hmm. in the class. And Mr. Crocker Harris is so touched by this that we thought he began to die. Yeah, we were like, he's finally <laughs> dying. It's happening. Like, yay. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, yay. Well, yay, because our suspicions have been true. Well, well yeah, well, because of like... Charlie Char was just like... Not necessarily shadow, because like, I just like the character. And this, by this point, I think we're kind of starting to like Mr. Crocker. We're starting to see a yeah, sense of sure, yeah. sadness. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I think the first time you're introduced to, hey, maybe it's not so bad, is the part where, like, he's... My he's talking to the teacher sorry. that's replacing him, I think, is when we first really see oh, the Oh, right. He talks to the teacher, and then Tapler gives him the, the book, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. We did that, that's it, what I was, that's yeah, what yeah, yeah. So the teacher, yeah. he talks to this the new teacher Mr. that's going to replace him, Mr. Gilbert. He just go, and he, he's uh, taking him around he his go, classroom. He goes back to his, his classroom to, to yeah, pick up he, some books. To get his stuff. And actually finds the translation mm -hmm. of Agamemnon that he had lost. And, lost, and uh, Gilbert is like talking to him and he, he's kind of making a like a bit of a light-hearted joke and saying like oh you're like you're like the gestapo oh, i hear the people in the lower lower fifth which is where he teaches it's, i think it's like a gen ed class or something they call you the, the himmler of the lower fifth uh this thing that's supposed to be sort of a light-hearted joke uh really strikes uh mr crocker home as he realizes everyone hates him yeah he's like oh my goodness hey yikes the himmler of the lower fifth that's okay yeah, I guess he's I am troubled by, He's troubled this. by this. He's like, mm -hmm. but wow. He, uh, we, we do get a little bit more dialogue here. Him talking to the teacher about, um, you know, his him kind of looking at the years. We get some backstory on him. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, he does bring up how he kind of feels like all of the years he's been working there he, is kind of a failure because he, he mentions that like 999 out of his thousand students are getting nothing from his teaching. He's just, He's just sort of... Get reflecting on his school years yeah. and all that stuff, and he's just, we're just getting to know him a little bit more. Um, and not in a flashback scene, thankfully, um, because they're overused. No we, we were expecting, like, or at least early on in the film, like, I don't think so much later, but early on in the film, we were expecting that there was going to be some sort of, like, third act twist. I, I, at least I was, that we, I, I was, like, expecting, like, Mr. Crocker Harris to just, like, totally snap oh, in the yeah. third act. <laughs> and, like, start, Choke like, start, yeah, like, start choking out the students yeah. or something. Yeah, I've had enough! There's a part where he's talking to Gilbert, and he's saying, like, you know, I realize that the kids aren't laughing with me, they're laughing at me. They, they don't find, like, they don't think, like, I'm a it's, funny it's person, a... they think the fact that I exist is funny. Yeah. And, but then, he realizes, like, they don't find me funny anymore. Like, it, it was so soul crushing to see a man whose only like bit of positivity he brings to these kids, and the only bit of like um, the only bit of happiness that or, like slight joy that he brings to the world is, and that was a negative to him is gone. And I thought that was just like so soul crushing, yeah. and it really like put you on his side really well. And previously, the headmaster had described the lower fifth grade class as soul crushing. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's what. And we actually get to the see dialogue's it. actually pretty stellar. Oh yeah, the dialogue movie. all through the film was really. Solid. It is and like nineteen fifties British it's, it's accents, a, it's, but it's, 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 it's it's pretty dang good. Like, it's a, it's a little bit slow at times. Yeah. Like there's definitely some stuff that could get cut, but mm -hmm. overall I think yeah. it's pretty good. Part of what makes this dialogue so good is just that all the actors are so good. Oh, that's yeah, true. The acting is incredible. Acting. Even the children acting are very good. Are child very actors. good. Like, good. shockingly good. Yeah. But yeah, and then <clears throat> Tepler brings this gift of a book, this um, translation of, you know, back Agamemnon. once they're Agamemnon, once they're back in um, in Mr. Crocker Harris's house. That is also like his study. I assume because it's like a university. Yeah, they yeah. just sort of live and live with. And Mr. Crocker's really touched by this gift because, like, again, he's just been compared to Heinrich, Heinrich Himmler. So the slightest bit of kindness to find that students that a student like, actually did wow. like that. What he was saying did interest the student. That like mm -hmm. he was making a difference to yeah. one student. And we think he's dying, but he's just crying. Yeah. But and it's around this point that. Uh, we realize just how much of a jerk his wife is. Yeah, his wife just dashes. 
Like, he's, like, feeling like, wow, I actually made a difference in this student's life. And then his wife just dashes all he's, those things. She's just says. like, you know, he's not actually doing it because he likes you. He's doing it because he wants you to give him a promotion to get him out, basically to, you know, get him up out of the Greek class into the next yeah. level class. And you're just not going to do that accent? Yeah. Really? And it, well, uh, um... Mm -hmm. You're just not going to do the accent? This scene went a little bit more like, right yo then. Oh yeah, how could I have forgotten? Yeah, your, your, your mate, eh? I was already care about you, eh? I, I think, you know, and we find this out before now, but I think we failed to mention um, the affair that's happening. We did mention, we just sort of, oh, we did? We just sort of glanced on okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like it's super not a integral to it's the It's a story. subplot. Speaking of the affair, in this scene, after she's yeah. just a total ass to her husband, the guy that she's having an affair Mr. with, the science teacher, Mr. Hunter? Yeah, Mr. Hunter. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Frank Hunter. Mr. Hunter is like, we're done. I yeah. cannot date you anymore. Because she's like, what? Be no. Because she just kind of like, she, 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 she just like, and yeah, and she's just like, oh look, Mr. Crocker found a tiny bit of joy, and she's like, let me take, let me just take. That. Oh, let me, let me, let me just take that and stamp on it on the ground, and we'll just. Yeah, this obviously hurts Mr. Crocker very deeply, and he goes to take a second dose of his me of his heart medication. As you do when you're hurt very deep. Yeah. And th then we see uh, Mr. F Mr. Hunter f kind of follow him into into his Yeah, room, Mr. Hunter to goes to talk to him alone after his wife is just like, um, and then, uh, what, what? What's what's wrong? I mean, <laughs> what did I do? What did I, I mean, do, man? You, I, I, I know you don't love me. I love you. Don't. I know you don't love me, Frank, as, like, love me, but I always thought that you could love me as a woman. Is what we were ex her exact I, I need words. more of that from you, Ian. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she 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 wants Frank to stick with her because she loves him, um, but uh, he doesn't anymore after she crushed someone's soul. Yeah. So Frank goes to talk to the Croc, and um, encourages that he break up. With and he his says, wife. "Hey, break up with your wife." And then the Croc she's is like, "Killing you. Yeah. She's crushing your soul. Break up with your wife." And yeah. the Croc goes. Is it because you just want to date her more? It would make your endeavor with her more easy. And he goes, and how yeah, long have you known about and this? And we find out that Mr. Crocker, Crocker Harris has actually known about this affair the entire time. The yeah. whole time. And just didn't let on because he's just like, he knows that his wife hates him. Yeah. And then... Do they all go to the party I scene? I think this is the yeah, party, the scene. party yeah. scene. Yeah, scene, yeah. So they Where, go to the party and it's like really Mr. Awkward. Crocker Harris. Because they all know something. Honestly, not a lot happens at the beginning of the party. They're just sort of hanging out in the headmaster. We see more from the headmaster. The, headma yeah. the headmaster is being the headmaster. We stand the headmaster. Like, I believe I shushed you all when you started Billy talking. Ernst. How about you, Mr. Crocker? Oh, how can I forget your, you don't play pool? Ha <laughs> ha! Mr. Oh, Hunter! Um, uh, so after they go to play billiards, uh, we see... Um, uh, well, while they're playing billiards, I believe, uh, Hunter, and, conversation Hunter and Mr. Crocker Harris yeah. talk some more. And what did they talk about? I can't forget what they talked about. Let's see. Um, I don't. I don't feel like it's super important. I, I think they. I think just sort of. They, they talk the about him before. deciding to stay and not go with his wife initially, and or he. I know he mentions that in this. Oh yeah, he. he uh, her. wants. Uh, Mr. Hunter wants to visit Mr. Mr. Crocker Harris in his new uh, place. Yeah. His new because uh, Mr. Crocker Harris is going to work at a different school. I, I think we should talk about uh, Mr. Hunter at this point. That I think he's he's. He's uh, he's less of a bad guy, uh, less of a scumbag than uh than previously than, thought, than we had previously thought because he was kind of a jerk in some of the earlier scenes yeah. and he is like cheating on uh cheating with this guy cheating yeah. on this guy with his wife. But I I think what makes or starts to make us kind of turn that around is his like acknowledgement of how horrible of a person she is and, and then how horrible he's been trying to like help Mr. Crockett in getting rid of her and like saying you, know, you, you need to leave her because she's a horrible person because he does, he's just like yeah he's like I I've, I've been doing horrible things I I've, I'm a horrible person for what I've done yeah he he's not lacking in humanity he's just sort of uh, morally dubious yeah well, they also talk about in this scene how they hate each other yeah uh, that how like this whole time like he thought like they have like two different types of love like. Hers is the more uh, sexual side of love, and his is more of the more traditional, like mutual companionship sort of love. Like because uh -huh. like I used to think that they they just they would go together, they just fit together. But I was wrong, and we hate each other. Yeah, this is the first time that we see him like really acknowledge it. Like because like yeah. during the scene where uh, the wife is trying to get Mr. Hunter to stay, she talks about that he that she just that she despises him, and he's like, she doesn't hate don't him. you mean she hate? Despises. Because he's like hate. You can't hate someone who's dead. Yeah. Which you can. 
Yeah, you can. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really understand that. I was like... You also I, can't resurrect corpses, as Mr. Hunter true. claims. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. As, as like, a Dr. Frankenstein claims. A corpse can be revived. <laughs> and then we're just like, yeah. oh, no. Can they, though? Oh. Can they really? Have you ever heard of necromancy? But um, anyways, at this point, um, uh, Krogit's wife comes in, I believe, and we have the scene with them and, on the balcony. And yeah, and then there's the balcony scene with the fireworks, yeah. where Mr. Hunter's more, uh, Mr. Hunt, uh, Mr. Hunter, that Mr. Crocker and his wife like don't look at each other, but just like look out and watch the fireworks, and they're just like, yeah. They're, they're, we can see here that they're definitely like a mutual understanding. That they know? both that they hate each other. Yeah. But Mr. Yeah, we should also say that Mr. Crocker won't divorce her because. He want he says that he's gonna remain her wife so long as she's willing to remain his. Wait, he will. He, he will, will still be. Her he will wife remain her husband as long as, as she is. Willing she is willing to be his wife. Yeah. Um, All right, and then after that, uh, then we have the speech. Yes, the speech. Of course, the speech. Mr. Crocker decides instead of going first that he is in fact going to speak after Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Fletcher, which is good because Mr. Fletcher place. gives a really terrible speech. Mr. Fletcher's speech was just. Uh, good night, good luck, play ball. and play, play ball. ball. <laughs> that, was, that, was his, that was his whole speech. And goes, I don't think we should talk too much. So, you know, have a good time, and also let's win the sports. Woo! Woo! And then he leaves. Yeah. And then Mr. Crocker gets up and starts giving like a really sort of dry speech, and then he Everyone's and then he start, and then he starts dying. It is, I think, of some small interest. It is, I think, of some small interest. Or at least we thought he started dying as he started like yeah, kind of, he like, got, going, he got choked up a little bit. He started like adjusting his collar, yeah. sorta, and he started like repeating the same line. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then he just gives a big long speech about how. He thinks that how he's just like I failed you all because I was a terrible teacher. <laughs> and then they give him like the biggest round of applause. And the headmaster tries to funny. speak and he's just like ah guys uh, yeah, yeah, like, I know yeah and I know I know. I know and then we cut to the outside where oh we should also say that previously Tepler had taken the, his translation of Agamemnon. Yes. Um, oh yeah. And yeah. he brings it back to him and he's like, "Wow, it's really good. You should finish Man, this." Man, this is really good, you know? You should finish this, you know? In it. He's like, "Really? You, you think so?" He's like, "Eh, hey, yeah, mate. Yeah, it's it's jolly good, eh? It's it's good awfully, yeah." And then Mr. It? then Mr. Crocker just sort of flips through it a little bit. Uh puts it put put, put like Either to his chest, chest plate. Was it? It was to his chest or under his arm. I believe it was to his chest. I think it was under his arm. Or was it? I don't know. I mean, he, regard, regardless, he, he takes kind of it. Really and this, this is the exact same uh, angle as the opening, opening show, credits, yeah. and he just walks away, and that's the end of the movie. Do we want to move on? To, is it worth? Yeah, yeah. I'll, and yeah, so that's yeah, that's the summary, and uh, it's time to ask: Is it worth? So, uh, Charlie, if uh, someone came up to you on the streets and was like, "Hey, should I watch?" The Browning version, the 1951 uh, edition of the Browning version. Mm -hmm. Should I watch it? Is it worth it? I'd say, um, for me, definitely. But for the average movie viewer, I'd say it's not a good movie to give you an appreciation of black and white films. But if you are already into black and white films or like older movies, this is a great film for you. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, I would, I would, I would agree. I'd say that. Object it's not for everyone. I'll, I'll say objectively, it is worth it, but yeah. it is not for everyone. It's it's a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit like. I mean, I, th I think if you're able to pick out the things like you know, if you're able to appreciate it, what good dialogue it's is, it's masterful good storytelling, is. masterful mm -hmm. acting. But it is. You it do is, have to dig a little bit. It is things. slow. It is very much a British drama from the yeah. 1950s. Yeah. Um, there's it's a, a good character study. There's, there's, it's yeah, character, it's a character study. There's, I sure. just said, like, really? so wait, so are you, you're saying it's worth definitely, it? Definitely, definitely, I'm saying this is worth it. Yeah, um, there's even something to be had here for the average moviegoer, you know? I think mm -hmm. any, any, you know, sentient human can, uh, to some appreciate extent, it. to some extent, appreciate the, what this movie even, has offered. I mean, I think that's something I'd say. I'd like, I really appreciate this movie. I very, really respect this movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed... Uh, say where the North begins last yeah, time. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Yeah, but it's a better movie objectively. Subjectively, so, yeah. you know, it 
It's whatever. Yeah. You're not going to watch this because you want to watch a movie. Yeah. You want to watch this because you, you want to watch it. You're, you're interested in... You want to watch, watch the art yeah. behind the, the film. You want to watch the characters. This is This might be the shortest, like... Uh, discussion of a film we've had. Not because there's nothing to discuss, it's just that it's all... it's You can't really discuss it. If yeah. Because the, cause the plot isn't what this movie is, right? Mm -hmm. you, know, you, yeah. have to watch, you have to watch it for yourself to be able to understand the, how, how good some of the writing is and how yeah, great the acting is, you know? That, that's not something we can really just talk about. The, the plot isn't what's important in this film. Yeah, I would say the plot is secondary and that's why we honestly spent more time talking about Mr. Yeah. Crocker Harris's character than we did as the plot about the plot because the plot the plot serves only to get us drive the, the character to be able to yeah to yeah. describe the character get us let us know uh, this this character that original initially seems very prickly and very unsympathetic but later develops into a person that we very, very much didn't want to see uh, yeah. uh, die yeah <laughs> uh, while giving a speech in front of the entire school. If yeah. that's all, I have just one more thing to say. Mm -hmm. I know these things can be kind of long, so, you know, good night, good luck, and, you know, let's win the sports team. Yeah, win the sports game. Let's win the sports game. Play ball. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Okay, who's got the ball? We're going. Okay, let's go. Woo! All right, we're going to go with those that, uh, well, I don't know. Man, we're going to get a pension. We're going to get injured and get a pension like Mr. Buller did. All right, don't get sick, though, because you won't. Okay, see ya. Bye. I love these random outbursts every now and then that we get from you. <laughs>